testing. Let's going to let's going to check the sound. Okay, right here. Okay. Hello, guys. Are are you listening to me? Yes, sir. Okay. Thank you, guys. And the apologies due to I have a class before this one and I have to do the change from the first class to the second one. That's why we have like an interval of maybe two or three minutes <laughs> because I need to finish one first and then to continue with, with you. Okay, I think we have like, a, oh, this is very worthy. We have 14, guys, just a reminder. Please try to be on time. Just a few of you have sent me a message and tell me that you were having some issues, that you hadn't arrived home and something like that. But please try to be on time. Try to keep working on the platform, as already mentioned to you. Even if you advance more than it is necessary, that's, that's not a problem because... Uh, that is why we have the platform in order to work and evaluate you. And just we only have 15 and we have um, eight, eight and four minutes. Uh, well, we're going to start and continue with the one that, that we have the other classmate. I think they're going to to connect during the, the, during the class because uh, classes uh, are always monitored by the institution and if you have lost like a 20 maybe 10 or 20 minutes that I think that that might be something that that, that can really uh, affect your attendance but if you have some issues remember always try to tell me now we are going to see what we have for today guys. Let's go to see what I have for you. Let's see right here what we have. Okay, let's see. Wait, guys, I think I, I'm having like a... Oh, no, right, okay. Let's see. Sorry, I was checking something, okay. Now, here we are. Okay, we have right here. The following part. Okay, next we're going to share. Remember that we were mentioning something about the, in the last class, uh, the relative clauses, right? The relative clauses of time, but in this case, we're going to complete the sentence with your own information, then compare with a partner. Okay, what we have, how we can complement this section, the one that we have here. Remember the, the, the exercise that we were doing in the, the last class. Uh, like we were mentioning in December is the time when the, the season of the whole fest, festivity or something like that. What, what can we say about the winter? Winter is the season when What can snowing. you tell me? When December snowing. Winter is a season when it start to snow. Yeah, it start to snow. Teacher, you can say in in this country, for example, winter is a season uh, in the rain over the day and the next day and the next day is raining and raining. Yeah, he, here in El Salvador, the or winter is just raining. That's the only thing that happened in, in oh also during the 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 safra season we have another kind of winter with the yes, with the snow <laughs> for with, the Christmas with, with, with the black snow coming from the sugar cane. <laughs> <laughs> but not in this country. Yeah, if you see when, when we have the safra season, the safra season start already started this this month or I think the, the next one. And when people start uh, putting fire to the sugar cane, or the leaves get burned and blows away in the air, and that oying is the one that, that that we call it, or or black snow. 
<laughs> that that is our black snow for 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 December. We are going to to do a, a not a snow a snow in this case it might be a a ying a ying man. <laughs> yeah. Okay. We said like a uh, a three was telling us uh, about the snowing. Diana was telling us about raining. Okay. Yeah, two of them might be good. What what are can we say? What are can we mention about about the winter? Mm -hmm. Hello, Silvia. How are you? I'm fine. Silvia, what else can we say about the winter? Winter is a season. Mm, I don't know what is winter. Yeah. You don't know what is winter? The no. meaning of uh, invierno. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. Winter is a season. Winter is a season when the weather gets cold. Mm -hmm. You know what is cold, right? Yeah, okay. I know. Winter is the season when when everything is cold or everything is getting colder. Mm -hmm. He must say in that in that way. Don't worry about that. Let's continue, guys, with the number two. A spring is a time of the year, a spring. When flowers mm. bloom. Oh, when flowers bloom. When flowers bloom, yeah. Flowers bloom. What does it mean bloom? When the flower gets open and all the bees are collecting uh, pollen from the flowers. That is the spring season. Uh, which one, in which month do you consider that we have a spring here in, in the country? In which month? Which month do you say? Uh, January. Mm, mm -hmm. February. Mm, February. Uh, for um roses mm, on February spring a spring in other words translating to Spanish might be primavera right? sorry who was speaking I, I couldn't hear you well guys sorry but we don't have a spring in El Salvador. I no, but, we... <laughs> no, but I, I, I'm trying to tell you that uh, let's get in, uh, in, in our context that, that, that maybe a spring, which month of the year might be like a, or a spring. <laughs> I, I think might be like a before the, like, uh, I think that might be like, uh, Maybe during the first raining of the year, that might be in the case because everything is getting green. And that's what is happening in spring in the US. After the snow disappears, everything is getting green again. And flowers start, start to bloom. Yeah, it might be it might be the case here in, in El Salvador. The only thing that we don't have is snow. <laughs> But we can create. We we can. No, make a... we don't. We don't have. A, well, I know as a, a autumn, but in the last slides, I see autumn is the is a synonym of fall. Of oh, fall, yeah, it might be a synonym of fall. Yeah, it might be. Okay, thank you. What about the number three? Mother Day is the day. Is the day of the year when other song gives give, moms presents? Give present to their moms. Yeah, give present to their moms. What else? 
when people spend a lot of money in presents for their moms, <laughs> what else? When the song they want to dinner, take out for dinner. Okay, it is the only day when the when the their son wash the dishes. <laughs> that might that might apply to the only day. the The other day they they never touch a dish. <laughs> Okay, we have a when the when the kids behave well is the only uh, day. It's the only day when the kids behave well. But, uh, uh, but it's not true. Okay, I I think we we have the the whole year to behave well with or or mothers, right? That is not only for one specific day. That that might be the whole year. The whole year. That that might be the whole year because uh, even we have ups and down with our mothers and. Uh, our mother is going to be your mother, and nobody's gonna tell you another thing about that. Yeah. Okay. Let's continue with the number four. A birthday is a day when you receive a present. <laughs> when, when you, you receive... receive a cake. <laughs> ah, okay. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> and when the family or people singing "Happy Birthday" to you. Mm -hmm. Birthday, birthday, birthday songs. Uh, yeah, birthday songs. Okay, uh, that might be for the, the only thing for for a birthday, right? What about the number five? A wedding anniversary is a time. Mm -hmm. To celebrate, to dancing, to dance. It is, Sorry, it is a it is a wedding anniversary is a time where people celebrated dancing with their closest one. They might be the case. A uh, wedding anniversary, it is a time when the couple remember when they get married. And what else? A wedding anniversary, it is a time when people... Mm, when the couple have a date. Have, have what? Have a date. Oh, have a date. You can have a day any day of the year. I don't know why Why some people just only try to, to do it uh, specifically on anniversary. I do it uh, at, in, not, not in, a, in a specific time. I do it when I, in, the, in my case, I do it when I have time, not in that specific day. Because maybe in that specific day, it is like, like, uh, like a very, very busy uh, season in my case. Yeah, because uh, even if, if I'm not working with with institution or, or working at a school, but uh, I also have a more job for doing outside at home. Yeah, I, but I, that's why I prefer Holy Week and the vacation from August. Or maybe I take out, I take out uh, like a four 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 day off. Yeah, I and those might be the case, but I don't specifically take the 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 day of the anniversary. I, I don't do it in, in in that way. I I don't I I'm not get accustomed to do that. But some people they are accustomed to do specifically on those day. Let's going to see what I have here. Sorry. Teacher, oh, I, oh. Uh, Hello. I have a, a propose for the number five. Mm -hmm. uh, wedding anniversary, anniversary is a time to travel and enjoy with and enjoy the love. Oh, it is a time to travel and enjoy the love. Yeah, enjoy the love, enjoy the food, enjoy the meals. Everything that you enjoy really the like, beach. <laughs> enjoy the beach. Yeah, it well, it might. Uh, I I don't know how far away it is the beach from 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 San Salvador, but here in my case, it's like uh to thirty or forty minutes from here from my house to 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 the beach. 
Uh, I spent 30 or, or, or 40 minutes. I don't know how much time do you spend from San Salvador to La Libertad or to any other places. How Usually much time? It's the same time, but uh, we, we have another options. Oh, uh, you... La Libertad, San Sonate, mm -hmm. and it's different time. Yeah, the 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 farther you go, you spend more time for for going there, right? Right. Oh yeah. Even here in in, in La Unión, if if you go to some places uh, in La Unión, you spend more time in in, in during the travel. Uh, due to there's some roads that are still being of dust. The uh, some of those roads are not pavement payment uh, they are only those okay let's see okay okay thank you guys for your participation right here let's going to see what we have in our second one oh carnival what we have here we have carnivals and uh, what is a carnival oh remember what we were talking about yesterday we were talking about the carnival yeah, Astrid was telling me about the carnival yesterday. I don't know who else was telling me about the the, the carnivals and how long does it last? When you see what is the best part about it? What is the samba? Here we don't we don't play too much samba. We just take zumba, but zumba with drinks. <laughs> that is another kind of it's not samba it is zumba that, that the people takes in, in during the carnivals yeah because uh, the the beer is is very cheap uh, in in the carnival you spend just one dollar in in the in the in the stores and they give you a, a glass also and um, what is the carnival guys what is a carnival? What is a carnival for you? What this what this mean? It's a party. It's a party. It's a party. What else? Mm -hmm. What do you say patronal? The Saint Patriot like Saint Patriot festivity. Fiesta patronale. Mm -hmm. Saint Patriot activities or festivities. Uh, any of them might be the the, the correct ones. Mm -hmm. Sure. Uh, who is talking? Who is talking? Me, Diana. When mm -hmm. people say carnival or carnival, I only have uh, a thing in my mind is uh, people dancing. Dancing and how do you say batucada? No, no, not going to tell me batucation. No, that doesn't exist. <laughs> batucada, <laughs> it, it, it keeps the same batucada because batucada is like a like a proper name. And remember, the proper name doesn't have translation. Like in the case, in your name, you call Diana. You're you're not call, you're not going to call it in English. Diana. Diana. No, no, that's mm, 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 mm. that's completely false. You call Diana in English, you call Diana in Spanish, you call Diana in Chinese, you call Diana in Russia. No, I think in Russia might be different. <laughs> yeah, true. but that 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 doesn't change. People get confused with, with the proper notes. Proper notes, they never change. They never change. The proper notes are the same in the case of Gabriela. Also keep Gabriela in English and Spanish. Uh, in the case of Crisia Morena, the uh, the name keep the same in English and Spanish. The same with Saul Enrique, also keep the same in English and Spanish or in any other specific language. Okay. The meaning doesn't going to change. The meaning might change, but with different things or with different objects, right? In the case that we are talking an animal, we can say like a a dog. A dog it is in English, but in Spanish it is a chucho, perro, animal. Pirulais. What else? <laughs> Pirulais. Yeah. Which other name? Uh, I think just the just those four, right? Yeah, I think just the the the, the four of Canelo. Them. Ca Canelo. <laughs> the famous Canelo, the famous Canelo. <laughs> yeah, the famous Canelo. 
Okay, guys. How long does it last in this case of carnival? How long does it last here in in here in my case in my in my department? <laughs> Four days. No. The carnival it is on a whole completely month. It no. is a it is a whole okay. month of party. We have party here. We have party over there. Even uh, there are some days that we only not have one party. We have two parties at the same time, at the same time, because the candidates, the the girl who participate in in, in the carnival, uh, are a lot. And in order to to work according with the schedule that they have, uh, they sometimes have uh, two parties the same day. Uh, uh, are some weird cases that maybe we have three parties at the same time, but in different yeah. locations, right? Here we have one, here we have another one, and in another place we have another, but it is kind of weird that the, the, the cases the, that we have in one day, three parties at the same time. The, the schedule, the majority of the time say uh, just only two. Just only two, but that, that is according with the candidates. If we have more candidates, that means that we are going to have more parties, right? That is according with the candidates. Okay, okay. when is it? In our case, it, here it is in November. Uh, also, uh, on December. Uh, you saw what in December? Mm. When? Oh no, I'm sorry. I made you, 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 you got confused. <laughs> Don't worry about that. <laughs> no, on December I think we have the 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 Luces Campero. I think it is the only the only thing that we have on December. The Luces Campero. I think it is like a, one of the most outstanding shows that, that that we have here in, in December. Okay. What is the best? What is the best part about it? Which one do you think it is, it is the best part about it? The best part. The best part. <laughs> the food, because the you eat eat fireworks. Fireworks and food. You eat eating something like mm, another different food. No, the the same thing. It's a special yeah. food, I think, for the carnival. The people make a special food. Yeah, especially in carnival, people make the famous carnitas. <laughs> you have a lot of places where people sell, sell carnita with rice and chirimol, tortilla, and escabeche. Yeah, that, that is like a, the typical thing for the carnival. But you have a lot of different places that are selling food uh, at that day. You have a lot of people selling food, any kind of food, any kind of food. You can find it uh, that day. That is a, a good part. And in this case, what is the samba, guys? What is the samba? The samba is a dance. Yeah, yeah samba is a, a like a... Um, a cultural dance of Brazil, but here we also in El Salvador we adopted like like ours, but samba really was created in Brazil. Samba was originally from Brazil. Okay, we need to move to our next slide and see what we have here, guys. I'm going to see. Okay. Here we have once a year, Chinese year, day of the day in Mexico, and children day in Japan. Japan, once a year. Okay. What's the most interesting holiday or festival in your country? When is it? How do people celebrate it? Do you eat any special food? What do you like most about it? What else do people do? Those are the questions that we are going to discuss for today. And it's going to see the one who hadn't participated because we want that everybody participate for today class. Okay, Claudia and Elena and Miguel, they told me that they were having some, some problems at, at home, right? Uh, Carlos, David, how are you, Carlos? Hi, teacher. 
how are you, Carlos? Carlos, what's the most interesting holiday or festival? We are not calling in this case the country. We are calling the, um, the department where you live. Um, um, I think um, I think the most interesting holiday um, is uh, Mother Days, uh, because. Uh, Mm -hmm. What say uh, tocar serenata? Ah, place place songs outside outside at home. Place songs in in madrugada. Sorry. In the early morning. <laughs> in the early morning, see, mm -hmm. uh, the uh, the guys they play song uh, serenata for mothers. In my neighbor. Oh, your neighbor. Oh, that might be great. That, that is great. I have a neighbor. He always brings mariachi to her wife uh, in her birthday. That when the mariachi is playing in the, in the morning, I already and... know that, 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 that it is her birthday. That That's the thing that I know. When um, when it's my yes. my neighbor birthday, I know that mariachi is going to be playing in the early morning. <laughs> That's my case. Okay, what about what about Gabriela? Hello, Gabriela Noemi. How are you? Gabriela Noemi Orellana. Hello. Hello, Gabriela. How are you? So far, so good. Okay, thank you, Gabriela. What about in your case, but in the department where you live? What's the most interesting holiday or festival that you have in your department, the department where you live? Mm -hmm. um, uh, corn festival? Uh, sorry? Corn festival? Oh, it's like, uh, yeah, 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 Festival de Maíz, Festival right? de Maíz. Yeah, yeah, Corn Festival, yeah, yeah. Where everything is made of corn. It's, it's made of corn, right? Like riguas, tamales, eh, yeah. atol, pupusa. Mm -hmm. Elote loco. Oh, elote mm -hmm. loco, raspados, what else? Mm -hmm. I, oh, chicha, chicha, it, 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 it. Some people may chicha from from corn. Yeah, oh, that is good. I I really love the the, the festival, the 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 food festival, and my and the best that I love is the the one that that everything is made of corn. I I really enjoy it. That <laughs> okay. Let's going to see who else wants to help me for today. Mm -hmm. Dal uh, Dalila Cristina. Hello, Dalila. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello, Dalila. Dalila, what's the most interesting holiday or festival in your department, the department where you live? Mm, I can hear um, Toriadas. Oh, Toriada. Uh, yeah, you can call it Toriada because it, it is it is or proper no, in this case. Mm. Or we can call it uh, like in American way, rodeo. Yeah, we can call it rodeo. That is something famous in your department, right? Dalila? Yes, teacher. Oh, okay. Thank you, Dalila. Thank you. Let's go to see here. Crisia Morena. Hello. Hello. How are you? Hello, teacher. I'm fine. Okay. Crisia, you were paying attention to what we were talking about, right? Yes, teacher. Okay. In this case, what's the most interesting holiday or festival in your department, the place where you live? Mm. No sé en ese caso cómo se dice, si se si, si tiene que decir, por ejemplo, la fiesta Julia. 
Oh, that is a proper noun. You can call it the same the uh, same way in Spanish. Like no, Fiesta ah. Julia. Just Fiesta Julia. It is okay because it is a proper noun. Es un nombre propio de nuestra región. Ah. Uh, it, it is like the Salvador del Mundo. I, I, I will say it. Salvadorian of the world. No, no, no. Because it is or, or proper noun. Uh -huh. Salvador del Mundo, festivity okay. or holiday or something like that. Don't worry about Fiesta Julia. Oh, fiesta, yes. fiesta, fiesta, Julias. And what, what do do you yes. usually? It is like they, 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 you do or like a little activities or you do in a big way, big parties or something like that. Yes, I there are a lot of activities in the mm -hmm. month. Uh, oh, it, it is a whole month. Yes, but really the most... Uh, it, it has like a song interval. One celebration uh, one day and like a yeah. three days later. The final of the month is, is, the, is the best. Oh, okay. The last week. The last week of the month. Yes, that's it. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Christian. Thank you for your participation. Okay, let's go into see who else we have here. Lourdes, hello, Lourdes Nunez de Canizales. How are you? Hello, teacher. How are you, Lourdes? I'm fine, thank you. Okay, Lourdes. Now, uh, what's the most interesting holiday or, fest or festival that you have in your department or the place where you live? I live in Santa Tecla uh -huh. and I think the first is on Dece December. Oh, you have and, parties on December. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. There uh -huh. is a parade. Yeah, parade. Uh -huh. with, uh, with band music. Ah, music bands. And, oh, okay. Uh, music bands and queens. <laughs> oh, you have your candidates, uh, your, the queens, and the, the uh -huh. that represent the 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 different location that you have in Santa Tecla, right? Exactly. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. that, that that's interesting. I never had I had gone to to some festivities in Santa Tecla. I I never had gone there. I never have gone. I I have gone only to to San Salvador and and where I think once I went to 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 Aguachapan and in Suchitoto. I, but it was a long time ago when I was young. <laughs> uh, has, yeah. Has to come. Uh, okay, we're going to get in touch with, because I never have been there in, in Santa Tecla in, in December. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Lord. Okay. Uh, let's see who else we have right here. Let's go to see, guys. Who else do we have here? Who else? Maria Magdalena. Hello, Maria. How are you? Hello, teacher. Good. Okay, you are good, Maria. You were like a falling asleep. Good. But you are good. That That's really great. <laughs> Listen, I am a sleep teacher. <laughs> you, you are falling asleep. Don't worry. <laughs> Don't worry. The, the, the class is a little bit short. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about that. Okay. Uh, what is, what's the most interesting holiday or festival in your department or the place where you live? Um, I think the most interesting in my country uh, is uh, uh, festi fiesta patronales festival. Oh, same, same, same patriot holiday. Uh, yeah, it's like the yes. same patriot holidays. Uh huh. Yes. Okay, the famous. But well, in which department do you live? Sorry. In which department do you live? The department uh, where you live? Yeah. Uh, soya Pango. Oh, Soya Pango. Soya, yes. Soya. Mm -hmm. Okay, Soya. I have heard about Soya Pango. And even I have heard uh, in one place where people dress up like a, a devil 
and they throw fireball. What is that that festival? Where is located that festival? Um yeah, well, I, I, I saw it on the news. It is a play here in Sabado where people dress up with like a like a, a devil and they get a fireball and throw it in in on the street and, and people just observe next to the street right because they can get poor well i i don't remember the place where where it was i can remember perfectly but teacher but that i think it's a activity who do it more in the towns because i live in oh, san salvador yeah. but uh, i am from no, not from uh, i'm grow in ciudad arce in oh. la libertad so when are the same patronal holidays there uh, they do all that activity so um there's a, a a guy who dressed like a devil and uh, and go around of all the people and hit them with the tail of the of his suit. Oh and, yeah. Uh, and and do a lot of other things, but I think it's more like activity of of more in towns, nor of nor in the city. Yeah, they use latik, they use rope. They use the 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 tail of their custom. They 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 even wear a very long tail, and they get the tail and hit you with with the tail. Yeah, I I, I have saw that. Okay, thank you, thank you for the participation. And let's going to move to the next one that we have right here, guys. Let's going to to see what we have here. Okay, what we have here, writing, writing about your favorite holiday or festival, what usually happy, usually happens, what do you usually do, okay? What we have here, my favorite holiday is Thanksgiving in the United States. It's always the fourth Thursday in November. Oh, it is almost near because now we have seven, the, four, the first Thursday. This year is going to be, I'm going to tell you, let me see my calendar. 24, I think. Uh, 20, 23rd. Uh, it is Thursday, 23rd, uh, the, the Thanksgiving day. This year, this year, right? Because it said it is the fourth Thursday of the month. Yeah, because the next one they're going to have, it is 10, the next one is 17, and yeah, it's 24. No, no, it's 20. No, 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 I'm sorry, confused. 9, 16, and 20, 23rd. Yeah, okay. Okay. And November. Everyone in my family get together at my parents' house. We cook a large, we cook a large turkey and serve it. In, oh, with a cranberry salsa. Oh, the, cran, the cranberry salsa. Oh, I really love I really love that. I really love that the, the cranberry the cranberry salsa because uh, it is like a sour and sweet at the same time. And even uh, they put some pieces of, of the cranberry fruit and, and and I don't know, but it really tastes really amazing. Those those kind of salsa really taste amazing. Okay, guys, who can tell me what is their favorite holiday in, in your cases? Who can help me today telling me what is your favorite holidays? Who can tell me? Mm -hmm. What is in the case of, let me see who we have right here. Okay, let's see who had to participate. Who had to participate? Aristide, Aristide, are you there or you're, or you're... Aristide, Miguel? Who were the ones that were having problem? Just Margarita and Catherine. And Miguel Antonio, right? Aristide, you are not there. That really means that you 
that you are not there, right? And what else uh, we're going to see? What about Saul Enrique? Hello, Saul. Hi, teacher. Hi, and you? I'm good, Saul. I'm good. Saul, what is your favorite holiday for you specifically? Uh, my favorite holiday is uh, Christmas, teacher. Christmas. What do you usually do on Christmas? Yeah. Uh, usually I going to visit my parents. Oh, you my usually go. And... Yeah. The only relative, the one, the one you visit are your parents. Those are the, yeah. the only one. You, but you don't buy um, fire. You don't, you don't buy fire uh, 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 Yeah, I like. And <laughs> something, uh, something's, uh, uh, I going to uh, to travel uh, uh, some some mountains. Oh, do you? But you really like go hiking or something like that, or maybe just for a walk? Uh, I going to a walk. Oh, you you around you really the, uh, around the forest in, in in Christmas. I like the I like the weather in the in. In this month, yeah, we we have nice weather during those months, like October, November, December, and even I think yes. in in January, we have a very nice. I, I usually, I usually in December I go into Monte Cristo mountain in Metapan City. It's a it's oh. a mountain uh, with a good a good weather. I I, in December. I have. I have heard about that, the, 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 uh, uh, about that, that, that place that you were telling me. And some people said that it is very beautiful be because it has some, some place where you can go camping. You can go a lot of activities over there. I have heard that, but I never yeah. have been there. I don't know if it is that, that true. You can tell me. Yeah. You uh, in Monte Cristo, you can you can sleep on mm -hmm. uh, camping zones and and you can sleep in cabins. Mm -hmm. uh, you can uh, you can walk uh, different uh, different paths. Mm -hmm. So different center. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, it, it is. It, it, it seems uh, like an interesting play. I would like to be uh, or going there. I just pass uh, near of 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 their of the place where you 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 are driving in in the main street, where there's uh there's a, a street in which you can turn left in order to go there because. That that street takes you to to uh, to Esquipula, to La Ermita, I think. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah, I I remember that street because you are going in in, the, in that main street to La Ermita, and then you pass that border, and you can go to to Esquipula. I remember. I remember that yeah, that it's, road. It's, it's the border. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. The, the the border is near of, of that place. That, that, yeah. that's uh, that's why. Really, 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 Mont uh, Monte Cristo. It's the it's the border with the uh, Guatemala and Honduras. Oh, it is like a like a corner, right, between Guatemala and, and Honduras. Yeah, I, 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 yeah. I have I have heard something uh, about that. Even in the in the in the maps appears in, in that way. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you, so Thank you for sharing what you usually do on on your favorite holiday. And you already mentioned what was your favorite holidays. Okay. Let's going to see Rosibella Ines. Where are you, Rosibel? I see that your camera is very dark. Or are you there? Uh, guys, just a couple of you have told me that you are in the way home. You are having some inconvenience to finally get home. That's why you have your camera off. 
Please, if you are at home, try to keep your camera on. Okay, thank you. What about uh, Carlos? Hello, Carlos. Hello, teacher. Carlos, what is your favorite holiday? What is your favorite holiday? Uh, my favorite holiday is uh, mm -hmm. uh, Holy, Holy Week. Oh, Semana Santa. Holy Week. You, do, you really, do you really enjoy, do you really uh, like uh, that, that, that festivities, uh, right? I like because uh, I travel, I travel in, I travel the beach. Ah, uh, you, you you go a a lot of different places here in the country. Yes, yes. I I saw you were the guy who who spent the the whole Hollywood in the religious activity. That, that I thought that was the thing that you're going to tell me, but you you really enjoy traveling. Okay. <laughs> I enjoy traveling. Okay, that 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 is great because uh, you have to to take that that time that you have off. Uh, with with the work yeah because i think that the the private enterprise just give you like uh three three days off right the private companies mm. just give you three days right in the yes. in the, in oh three days three days yeah in my case we have uh, the whole the the whole week in my case i have the the whole week, the whole week uh, five five days yeah, we finish one Friday and we return. No, it's more. <laughs> yeah, we go out one Friday and we return back. I think the next, the the next week or on Monday. Yeah, it is. It is like a a little bit long. <laughs> That's why I, I also like it. And even here in in where I live, we used to put a. a, a uh, and a station for the Via Cruci uh, in the in the Holy Week, yeah. That that's something what we participate in the in the festivity because the whole community really enjoy to participate and they ask for your participation and and that's why you 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 share your community with the whole neighborhood and uh, because every 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 people here enjoy that that festivity. Here in my case, in, uh, at home, right? Okay, let's see who else. Who wants to help me about their favorite holidays? Who have a favorite holiday guy? The one who had to participate? Mm, Sylvia, what is your favorite holiday? Hi, uh, my favorite holiday is uh, Christmas. Because my husband cook a uh, turkey. You don't cook. Your husband cook. My husband. <laughs> oh, yeah. here at home, uh, we also have that tradition. We we cook roast beef, uh, gallina rellena, and also lasagna. Lasagna. And what else uh, we did the last lomo, year? Lomo relleno. <clears throat> mm, lomo relleno, just we only did once because it takes a lot of time doing that. Yeah, it takes a lot of time. But and, uh, for my family, the traditional is cook tamales or panes con gallina. Oh, the chicken bread. Yeah, yeah. Also, oh, yeah. Also, that's why we need the, the gallina re rellena because from the gallina rellena, we made the, the the chicken, the traditional chicken bread here in El Salvador. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We put lettuce, tomato, radish, um, uh, some cabbage, uh, or better say in this word, curtido. <laughs> now let's call it this way, curtido. Yeah, we made some like a homemade style salsa, and and we put a little bit of the spicy uh, because the in that way it tastes better with some with some spicy things. Yeah. Yeah. I think everybody enjoys Christmas due to wherever you go, 
uh, any people offer you food or give or give you food. Maybe you already eat in the house that you were before and you move them to your friend house and they offer you food again. You move to another house, that person offers food you again and you say, no, I'm full, but I'm going to take it for to go. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, that, that's why I think everybody here, we, we enjoy the the Christmas season. It is very nice to, to, to be in Christmas. Okay, let's see who we have here. Olga, hello, Olga, how are you? Hi, thank you, and you? I'm good, Olga. Olga, what is your favorite holiday? What is your favorite holiday, Olga? Eh, estoy igual que la compañera Silvia. Oh, your favorite holiday is uh, Christmas. Christmas. I like cooking. Oh. Uh, I... Pero gallinas. Oh, just, 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 just the, the, the traditional gallinas. <laughs> Because eh, gallina, gallina here in our, in our country is one thing. The chicken is the smallest one and the gallina is the The biggest one. Sí, mm -hmm. quedan más ricas. <laughs> oh, ah, and, and that's another thing. Gallina tastes better than, than chicken. The, sí, their, como their, dice uno, gallina india. <laughs> yeah, the famous gallina india, those one taste better than chicken. Yeah. I prefer gallina india than, than chicken. <laughs> okay, guys, let's see what... Sí, ok, let's move to our last section, to our last part. Thank you for the participation. What we have here? We have a little conversation. We have some Japanese guys between Jill and Mary. Oh, you look beautiful in that kimono. Mary, is this your wedding photo? Yes, it is. Do most Japanese women wear kimonos when they get married? Yes, many of them do. Then after the wedding ceremony, The bride usually changing, change into a Western bridal dress during the reception. Oh, I didn't know that. Guy, have you heard about what is a kimono in the Japanese culture? What is kimono? It's a typical dress. It is a, it is a typical wedding dress for the bride. It is a typical wedding dress dress. She the only one that use kimono. Uh, men's, they don't use kimono. They use another kind of suit. They use like uh, those weird suit that we have here. Like very long skirt, something like that. I don't know what, what is his carry on his hand, but in this case, the girls, they wear kimonos. Okay, who wants to help me in order to practice this short dialogue that we have right here? Okay, Carlos, and who else? Carlos, you're going to be Jill. Crisia, you're going to be Mary. Okay, let's go into start on the count of three. One, two, and three. You look beautiful in the kimono, Mary. Is this your wedding photo? 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 Photo, uh-huh. Yes, it is. Uh, do most Japanese uh, women wear kimonos when they get married? Yes, many of them do. Uh, then after the wedding ceremony, the priest or bride? The bride. Mm -hmm. The bride usually changes into a Western. Bride. Bride. Uh -huh. Bridal dress during the reception. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay, thank you. <clears throat> Who else wants to participate or collaborate? Who wants to participate, guys? Or let's going to see. Who wants to help me? Idalia Margarita. Hello over there, Idalia. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello, Idalia. Do you want to help me participate with this one? Being Jill? Hello. Okay, you're going to be Jill, Idalia. We are going to look for your another classmate. 
Lourdes Núñez. Hello, Lourdes. Hello, teacher. Hello, Lourdes. You're going to be married, okay? Okay. Let's go to start at the count of three. One, two, and three. You look beautiful in that kimono. Mm -hmm. Mary, see your wedding photo. Photo, okay, thank you. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. Zoom up. Uh -huh. Zoom up. Uh -huh. Definitely. Uh -huh. Walking with kimonos when they get married. Uh -huh. Yes, many of them do. Then after the wedding ceremony, the bride usually changes into a western bridal dress during the reception. Oh, I didn't know that. Uh -huh. Okay, thank you. Thank you, girls. Thank you. Applauses. <laughs> okay, we have time for one more. Who wants to do it? Let's see who wants to participate. Gabriela. Hello, Gabriela. Hello, teacher. Okay, he hello, Gabriela. Uh, you're going to be Jill. And who is Catherine Mariello? Hello. Hi, teacher. Hello, Catherine. And you're going to be Mary. Okay. Okay, let's go to start at the count of three. One, two, and three. Let's go. Okay. You look beautiful in that kimono, Mary. Is this your wedding photo? Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. The most Japanese woman wear kimonos when they get married. Uh -huh. Yes, many of them do. Then after the wedding ceremony, the bride usually change into a western bridal Brian. dress during their re reception. 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 Mm -hmm. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay. Oh, I didn't know that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Guys, okay. what? What we learn today about the Japanese tradition? What do we learn today about this text or this conversation? The, the Japanese woman and the most used kimonos when they get when they get married, and later in the party they change uh, the dress. To a western, western uh, right bridal dress, and mm -hmm. like a typical dress, I I oh. I understand. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that yeah that that's the thing that I'm going to tell you. They, this might infer like a, a typical uh, wedding the dress. The white dress. Mm -hmm. it, no, the kimono also is white, but but no, the, the western bridal dress is a is the white dress, the white dress. Sorry, mm -hmm. with a long tail, I think. That's I why think, I, I think. I think kimonos, uh, they have color or something like that because th this is not only. Uh, I no, have no, 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 no. Uh, and I, uh, well, what I understand of the conversation is the the Japanese women get married with a kimono, mm -hmm. and kimonos have a lot of colors and have a different. Uh, I don't know. Uh, designs. Designs, yes, mm -hmm. but. In the same, um, uh, more down in the conversations, uh, say uh, the later day after when the ceremony, the ceremony, the bride uh, changed the kimono to a Western bridal dress. So mm -hmm. I think that is the typical white dress, uh, what we most women in the world wear when they get married. Yeah, it might, it, it might be in that case. It might be in, in that case, the, the most typical, the most typical uh, bridal dress. Okay, guys, I think we already finished until here. Guys, I want to make an observation in the case. I don't know who has texted me. But in this okay. case, Miguel and Claudia, no, Claudia, and I don't, I don't know, just the two of them, have told me that they have some inconvenience and who else uh, what about margarita 
Claudia, yeah, Claudia Margarita, uh, also Astrid, but in the case of Aristide, uh, he hadn't told me anything. Uh, being with your camera on is one of the requirements of the institution uh, once. Uh, yeah, oh. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I could, I could hear. Okay. Okay, guys. Uh, always let me know and always let let the institution know why you work with your camera off, in order you don't have a inconvenience. That that's the the advice that I'm going to to give you. Okay, guys. Thank you. Thank you for being today. Thank you for your participation. I really appreciate that you were connected and you were during the whole class. I hope to see you tomorrow and take care, have a good night and take a very and grateful rest for tomorrow and start with a good energy. <laughs> okay, guys, it was a pleasure to see you. I hope to see you tomorrow. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.